And welcome back to Mystery Death Theater 5000, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom ah! Edition. He's Vampire Marlin, and I'm something. I think you're Ethan Cross, I think, was the one that you selected. That's actually the one I created. Oh. Then that's the one you're, you're playing. But also, I am Castle Rook, and this is Jabberwocky 1984. 80, 86. Not, not. <laughs> wrong birth year. Shut up. We're trying to protect you from the enemies. Oh, Enemy Mine. I love that movie. Actually, I. Fuck. I mean, I make that joke, but I don't think I've seen Enemy Mine yet. I've seen parts of it. What are you doing here? Go see Enemy Mine. I know. I should. It's another one of the many. 80s classics I still need to catch up on. I mean, there's classics from every decade we always need to catch up on, though. Like, I've never seen Bridge Over the River Kwai. Next, you'll be saying you've never seen Zulu. Um, shit. Chris, where are you? I want to aim at you right now. I, I'm... I'm over there by the mines. Oh, look, they have Crackfic in here. Actually, I just imagine Snake would be... If this was Solid Snake, not Boss or Venom Snake, but if this was uh, Solid Snake, he totally would have, like, fanfic and novels on his uh, iDroid. Otacon, why do you keep giving me these? But Snake... You're gonna really like this one. This is where Hatomi has to confess her feelings for Sasuke. These people mean nothing to me, Otacon. On the battlefield, you're not able to care about these things. But Snake, you have to remember to- you have to... fight for things you love. Like anime. Oh, that's right, you can't when you're mounted against the wall like in the old days. Which I remember confusing me in this game. Oh, whoa. Careful, careful, careful. There you go. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Sneaking a whole way. Ooh, ooh, he's getting close. He's getting close to it. I know, I know. That poor 10k light, man, it's never going to be the same. They're going to have to sell it to some indie producer. Headshot. Whoa, oh. nice headshot. Delicious cherry flavor just burst right through his skull. It's like he hit him with a paintball gun or something. Bidding. All right, clear. I love you lost heroism for getting spotted, but then gained, like, 20 more back from Catcher in the Post. Oh, time for some shenanigans. Oh, please tell me you're gonna... Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Oh. Oops. Ow. You might want to pile them up first and then... Well. Yeah. Wow, you're going to blow the whole thing. Yep. Are you going to do it from the comfort of the toilet? No. Okay. I've got something else in mind for the toilet. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you're just putting alarm clocks next to their bed so when they go to sleep that they'll be able to uh, make sure they don't wake up too late. That's very sweet. Oh, you're making a... Oh, I get it now. You're you're doing some old-school 80s electro... Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that is really annoying. It's like... Because I remember the old days you were able to uh, plant bombs on the sides. Oh my god. You're a madman. You're some sort of mad thing. I'm gonna abuse 20 bombs. Meanwhile, Quiet's on the other, other end just like, What the fuck is he doing? I mean, not out loud, obviously. Because reasons. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Now they'll never be able to go to the bathroom properly. I think that has more to do with the fact that you've killed them in such a way that their digestive functions are now destroyed. But sure, yeah. They'll have to make new toilets. This isn't Solid Snake, this is... <laughs> Shit. Solid crap. Pooper Blaster. Oopenstein. Oh, that's right, yeah, because it's underneath the, uh... I am incredibly disappointed, so... Mm -hmm. yep. You don't get a machine gun. And you don't get a machine gun. And you don't get an exploding barrel. And you don't get a... Actually, you'll probably be able to keep the doors. Sizzling. I'm satisfied for now. Here we see the Castle Rook has gotten his amount of exp explosions for the moment. However, the appetite for destruction will be quite uh, quite large, and, there, and his metabolism for carnage is truly one of the fastest in the world. I make stuff go blow up. <laughs> They're in danger. <laughs> I always wanted to go swim in there. Yeah, but the amount of Soviet crap down there, you probably oh, come out half Oh, here. No, oh no, you just had to... Oh no, oh, oh. Like, seriously, I would not be surprised if there was like some guy came out every evening or every other day with a giant bucket and just tipped it into the water. Oh god, so true. Yeah. I will ruin anything for anyone. And now for this week's episode of Paul Ruins Everything. Is this iconic little maniac? Oh, nope. sniper! Down. The enemy sniper. Stay low and crawl along the ground. Oh, that should enable you to sneak past enemies. Now, there's a way for you to also send uh, uh, orders to quiet, right? Yeah, but I've forgotten. Oh, okay. Plus, also, quite gets to have way too much fun. Mm. Oh god. Yes, please, please. Yes, do it. Do it. Third time was the charm. You're pretty good. Get your way to 
Kursky, have you put out all your blow-up dolls again? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, this is beautiful! <laughs> Oh. Let's see if we'll get close to- yeah, yeah. Get it right in his path. Okay, get him closer. Closer. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. God, this is reminding me that a new uh, Sniper Elite game comes out next month. Oh, I think I got him. Whoa, yes you did. Nicely done. Ooh, Ooh yeah. You're worthwhile to brainwash and take away. A plus? Yeah, A plus is pretty good. Yeah, I reached a point in this game where I had to, like, have S plus, you know, S plus plus to make anybody worthwhile to take. Yeah. A plus plus? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah, especially for radio. Yeah. And he's dead. Oh, dude. Direct. Amy, time to steal all this shit. Mm hmm. Actually, that is starting to drive me cracked. So. Yeah, better. Uh... God, what caliber weapon was he using that was able to blow it up in one shot? Oh, it looks like it was a bolt action nice. rifle. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa. I like he made sure to take that before you fired an explosive device in the area. Oh my god! Those are fucking durable. Shit. There they go! <laughs> oh, vaulting buttons. Or vaunting. Is it vaunting or vaulting? I always forget. Vaulting. Thank you. I mean, you could just hit the power button right there. Nah, never mind. What am I saying? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Momentary lapse. Get out. You're gonna have more damage from an installation soon. Ooh, he's a good one. Eh, kind of okay. Hmm. Oh, that's right, you gotta find that uh, highly skilled soldier and not kill him. It's gonna be hard. Yep. It's gonna be very challenging. Get me, I'm composing music for a Hideo Kojima game or military based shooter.
I see you sneaking there. Oh, very nice. Oh, with a handsome face like that, why are you hiding? Wow, oh, that dude's uh, very skilled. Not the highly skilled, but skilled. See if we can find like a tanker I can steal or something. Oh yeah, there's totally a bunch of stuff you can steal. I know. I think it's past the uh, it's past the wall, isn't it? This next uh, get past this encampment. That's what I remember, but I could be wrong. I have not played this again. I've not played this game in about six years. There we go. Sniper, sniper, sniper! Ah! Well, don't need to worry about sparing any of them. Okay, so I definitely got him. Oh, that was another highly skilled soldier, and that was the one you were supposed to save. That's a shotgun. Oh dear. Uh, quiet, little help, please. Heavy casualties. I mean, only because they eat a lot at dinner time. They really like borscht. No, can't get in there. I'm sorry, boss, but the extraction failed. The support unit just isn't skilled enough. If you want to increase the success rate of Fulton extractions in bad weather, you need to improve the support unit. Oh, yeah, because the sandstorm just rolled in. Well, thanks, Miller. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. It's all part of the new program we like to call Deeper uh, I'm the master of unlocking. Dude, you got some minor metal. It's like rat or poison. Look, I'm just glad it's not quiet riot. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Good point. I think I still don't. Hmm. Oh. Oh, come on. Well, folks, we're going to leave it there. We successfully caused some mayhem Boss and successfully, in. unsuccessfully. Boss. Boss! 
unsucceeded successfully. And we made Miller piss, which I'm always happy about. Oh yeah, that's always a good thing. So, thanks again for joining us on Mystery Death Theater 5000. I've been Castle Rook, and joining me has been Chris Jabberwocky. Thank you, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>